What's going on, guys? I get a lot of questions about coastal saunas, Rocky Mountain saunas, um, any sauna that's made by this same manufacturing company that uses those vertical slats, right? So you've all seen these saunas. There's tons of companies that buy from the same place and they just rebrand them as, you know, whatever. Maybe there's different features or a different stereo or, you know, blah, blah. But what we're talking about here at the core is not any one brand. It's the, the style of sauna that has the really tight vertical slats like you see here. And so I never realized, or, or it's not that I didn't realize this, the thing that's deterred me from buying one of these or working with these companies in the past is this particular heavy wooden vertical slat design. As a general rule, I don't mention wooden slats covering up the infrared panels in any sauna very much because for the most part, they're spread out enough to where, you know, one or two extra battens over the entire length of the, the heater really isn't gonna make that much difference. Like, it's not enough surface area to really cause an issue. You know, like if one sauna has 24 battens that cover up, you know, the eight heaters in the sauna, whereas another sauna has 28, you know, <laughs> it's, it's really just not gonna, it's not a significant thing to, to point out, or it's not gonna cause a, significant difference in the preheating time or the amount of heat that you feel or the time to sweat. Um, you know, cause that's a lot of people complain about that stuff. Anyway, they go to a local spa and they're like, man, the infrared sauna that we're using must be a piece of crap because you know, it takes over an hour to preheat or barely gets over 130 degrees or, you know, all these things. That's not a good infrared sauna. That's not how the experience should go. It really shouldn't take over an hour to preheat. It should be 30 minutes or less usually. And it should definitely get way over 120, 130 degrees. If you're experiencing something like that, you're just not in a good quality unit. Um, or you have it in sub-zero temperatures in Antarctica and the sauna is fighting the ambient temperature that's below zero outside. <laughs> People don't realize that too sometimes, but more of a joke than uh, uh, you know, being, being serious. So here's something that I wanted to show you. This is not a coastal sauna or a Rocky Mountain sauna or the brand of this sauna doesn't even matter, right? What I want to show you is I was testing out a FLIR camera in a random sauna that I have in one of the sauna rooms. Um, and specifically, I don't want this to be about any of these brands that we're talking about because the, the idea here is to not, you know, talk bad about them or whatever. It's just, this is something that I've noticed. And this, this basically explains my hesitation about them from the very beginning, but in a visual way. So I, I was testing out this FLIR camera for something completely unrelated. And well, let me just show you the footage. Let me, let me play it for you right now. So if you see this, you can see me going into a sauna and basically the sauna is not preheated. It's not already hot or maybe I did another test, but it's not very hot, right? It's under hundred degrees. And what you can see right off the bat within 30 seconds or so is that I'm sitting there and I'm holding the FLIR camera and we're doing a recording to, to do something completely different for this. But I'd noticed that the wood significantly impacts uh, the far infrared passing through the grill, right? Everyone wants to talk about how the cloth and stuff blocks infrared, and that's debatable as you can see in some of my other videos. But in these videos with the FLIR camera, you can clearly see that the wood is definitely more of an issue for the far infrared heaters than anything else. And so I'm not saying that the coastal saunas, the Rocky Mountain saunas, all the other brands that use these vertical slats don't work at all. What I'm saying is, it's very easy to see how the wooden slats definitely interfere with the infrared heat, right? And so this is just my opinion, but when you tighten up the slats like they do in the coastal or Rocky Mountain saunas, it's making it that much harder for your body to receive the heat. And it, it will make its way through there. People do sweat in these saunas, but my whole thing is, you know, why make it more difficult um, than it needs to be? Like it's, it's making, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a win-win. It doesn't seem like the right design for efficiency. Um, there's no reason that you would want to make the sauna work harder or use more electricity to preheat than you need to. Um, that stuff would just be burning through cash that is unnecessary. But it, it, keep in mind, I have nothing against these companies. Um, I've never dealt with them. I've never tested them myself, but people keep asking about them. So I thought I would share my hesitation on buying one to test and then also just kind of show you what, you know, I noticed while testing a FLIR camera with, with, 
you know, the wood in front of the heaters. So from what I can tell, compared to the saunas that I'm used to, right, all the brands that you see me in, uh, these t vertical type slats are these sauna style, just the design of them. doesn't matter what the brand is. I can't spit it out. <laughs> um, they're going to take longer to heat up. It's just, it's just, you've got these tight, this tight little weave where the infrared is going to pass through. It will make it to the body, but it's just going to take longer. Even at full temperatures, um, they likely do not deliver, deliver the same amount of infrared, uh, to comparably or as comparably priced saunas do. Um, I don't have any scientific research or evidence to back that up. But I can just tell based on, you know, looking at them and comparing them to a bunch of the other saunas that I did use. Some that performed poorly, like the JNH Lifestyles or something like that. And some of the other ones that compared really or, or performed really well. Um, there's several of them. Um, but this is not set in stone. Again, just my opinion. But it deters me uh, from purchasing one, I can tell you that. So for all the people that ask about these brands, here are my thoughts on it. Hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.